Hello all and welcome back. In this video, I am going to introduce you to a free PDF reader and I really mean it. It's absolutely free. This is Wondershare PDF reader. It's free, light and fast and you can easily read, annotate and sign your PDF documents for free. This application supports all major Windows operating systems like Windows 11, 10, 8 and even 7 and can be freely downloaded using this option. What's special about Wondershare PDF Reader is, it gives 3D reading experience, like as if you are reading a real book by flipping its pages. I will shortly show its demo. You can also easily annotate and comment onto PDF documents as you read through them, like highlighting the text, strike through and underline wherever you feel it is important section. PDF Reader also has multiple reading modes to enhance your experience or say, they are basically designed to protect your eyes and I feel it is very important feature. So let me go back to the top and download this application using free download option. You can just click on it to launch the installation and then click on install. Once the installation is complete, you can click on start now to launch the application. Now let's see how to read and annotate using PDF reader. To open PDF documents, just click on open files option here. Select the document and then click on open. Under view tab on the top, you will find few options to enhance your reading experience like first 5 options are meant to set zoom level of PDF document, you can fit to actual page size, fit to window width, fit to window height, fit to window size and full screen mode will hide entire user interface and focus only on the PDF document. Obviously using these options you can scroll between PDF pages. And using last 5 options, you can change the page view patterns of PDF document. It can be a single page view, single page with scrolling enabled, two pages side by side, two pages side by side with scrolling enabled, pretty much self explanatory. Last option is for 3D page view. Once enabled, you can use your mouse to hold and turn the pages, or you can use left and right arrow keys on your keyboard to scroll forward and backward. This gives the experience of reading a real book by flipping its pages. Next is page background option and it is used to control the background color of your PDF document. You can change them as per your need and then read through. Basically, they are meant to reduce stress on your eyes. To annotate your PDF document, just click on comment tab to find all necessary options. Let's enable the highlight option, drag over the text and that gets highlighted. Underline and strikeout works in a similar way. Just drag over the text to either underline or strike it out. These four options are meant to draw shapes on your PDF document. Like you can draw a rectangle shape, you can draw a circle shape or you can choose a arrow shape as well. Now to change the properties of these outlines like color, thickness and style, just click on the arrow you see at the right middle portion to open up the properties pane. Here you can easily adjust the style, thickness, its color and other properties if needed. Next set of options are used to add notes, text box and attachments into your PDF document like choose notes option and click anywhere on the document page to add it. Then type in your text and you are done. Let's choose text box, click to add it. Adjust the size as per your need and type in your text. And yes, you can change the font properties using properties pane like font type, its color, style and size. The next option is callout and it is basically a text box with a ladder line. Next, let's select the attachment option, then click on the document, browse the file you want to add and then click on open. Later you can double click on this icon to open that document. Next 5 options are pretty important, like using the pencil tool, you can draw anything on the PDF pages. Using eraser tool, you can erase them. We have few inbuilt stamps in PDF reader, just select the one you need and click to add it. If in case you need your own custom stamps, just select this option, then click on create. Select the image of your stamp and then click on ok. You can also sign your PDF documents using signature option. Just click on create and draw your signature, change the color and thickness if needed and then click on ok to create it. 
Now click on the document to add their signature and adjust the size. You can also create your own signature by typing it or even uploading your own signature image. Pretty simple to use and very useful options to annotate your PDF document. There are two more tabs on the top, Protect and Tool tab. Under Protect tab, you can set passwords to your PDF document, digitally sign them or even use Wondershare's online signing services. Tool tab has options like Edit, Convert, Compare, Combine, OCR, Compress and watermark your PDF documents. But to use the features under these two tabs, you need PDF element which is a paid PDF editor for all your needs. You can download its trial version using free download option or you can even buy it using buy now option. I have provided all the necessary links in the video description below. Feel free to check it out. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.